It's another mail day, folks, so you know what that means. Another episode of... Let's look at the cool shit that I bought on the internet this weekend. There is a WQC starting up here pretty soon, so I bought a couple of cards I was missing for a deck if I get the chance to compete. And then this bad boy gets reprinted in Rarity Collection 2 right off the bat. <clears throat> so, uh, I really didn't need to buy this one. Rip. At least it wasn't very expensive at all. Yeah, we're, we're gonna cut that part out. And then... Yep, you probably guessed it. I'm a filthy branded player. Welcome to the team, Branded Regained. And those were from just a couple of shops off of TCG Player. Now this one was pretty cool because I basically almost bought this guy's lot, entire show out on whatnot. And we have a bunch of vintage magic. These will be opened at a later video for my magic folks. I haven't been in magic in a very long time. Recently got back because my love Sammy is also a, f a magic player. So I have bought a few sets, not a whole lot, but I'll be looking forward to going through these and definitely going over them with more of a fine tooth comb to find the value and get my vintage magic stuff started. Arkathonian tree folk. A lot of it's revised. There's some fun stuff like unglued in here. Um, yes. Look at that millstone. Ain't that pretty. Yeah, so uh, like I said, this will all be going over in a future magic video. I have some um, Universes Beyond Commander decks that I need to open as soon as I get more deck sleeves for them. And yeah, stay tuned for that one. That's going to be a fun opening. artwork back then. Just like Yu-Gi-Oh, the artwork was just so different back then. Stand and deliver. We're gonna stand on business. We're gonna deliver these hands. Look, he's even got that right that left hand ready for you. <clears throat> Viscera drone? Okay. Uh, and if this was the Alpha or I forgot what other edition. It would be a very pricey card. But alas, we did not get that version. We also bought somebody's small collection. Uh, of course, I'm not buying huge collections like, like Ruxin is or some of these other prominent Yugi tubers, but one of these days, one of these days, we definitely will be. Rise of Destiny, Dark Beginning 1, looks like these are all the, oh, oh, okay, so it looks like those are the better cards, we have the Dark Revelations, okay, pretty sure all of these in here are going to be common, so we're just going to take a quick little, oh, okay. Spell of Pain, Honey Honey, Matza, Mermaid Knight, Firewall. That's a pretty ultimate. I have that one. Ancient Rules, Glorious. Okay, so we got also another good ulti if it was an ulti. Uh, Fusion Devour, Hyper Synchron. Wow. Some, uh. We're gonna have to go over some of these because even the. Condition's really good for living in this tent for god knows how long. 
Okay, so we got a bunch of warriors. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I found the commons. I am not going to waste y'all's time with a bunch of commons, even though they are vintage. Oh, that's cool. Hedge guard. Because I'm like, not going to take too long. I'm like, we're going to look through all of them. Even if these these vintage cards, some of these can still be worth like a couple of dollars sometimes. So we're definitely going to be going over this with a fine tooth comb and seeing if we get any value out of here. The reason why I bought this was in the pictures. I saw at least one ultimate rare. And I bought this for $43. Let's see here. Okay. It was super poly rare. Oh, got one metamorphosis, two metamorphosis. Where is it? First edition. Okay, first edition too. So those are actually probably be worth a couple of dollars. Got a Sukiyomi, despair from the dark, guardian chaos, sonic duck, great maju, burning beast. Non-aggression area. So these are all also commons. Polymerization also just got reprinted in the Rarity 2 collection. So that one got all of the, the Rarity printings. Okay, we have a tip card. Number 6 of 50. One of the easiest ways to build an Exodia deck is to focus on cards that allow you to draw from your deck. Yes. Uh, keep the deck around 40 cards. Try and add cards that allow you to draw additional cards. Like Pot of Greed. That is banned. That's funny. Then we have Mind Hexers. Invasion of Flames. Malice Dispersion. Eagle Eye. Urin Kazan. Bill Purification. Oh, I wonder if these were the cards in the packs. Raging Flame Sprites. We got an effect for Pyro, huh? Well, that's fun. You can attack directly. Each time it successfully attacks directly, increase the attack of this card by a thousand points. You know, we're going to play with that in my... Uh Oh, Ashen deck. There we go. We got Homunculus, the alchemic being. And oh, here he is. The Arcanite Magician Assault Mode. Look at that foiling. That is stunning. Wait a second. Look at this. That almost looks immaculate. That is like near mint. Uh, it's a little pushed to the right, but wow. That is immediately going into a sleeve. This is the reason why I bought it. Uh, I think it's only like, you know, 12 or so dollars, but I figured with all of the other possible value out of these packs that you know we'll get something so we got also broken blocker the, the millennium shield over here we have a goblin zombie limited edition okay another goblin zombie once again with this beautiful vintage foiling we got Eradicator Epidemic Virus. Okay. Nice. This would have been an incredible ulti. We got up. Oh, got us a nice little secret rare. The end of Anubis. Right. Oh, okay. We got a gold future fusion. Cosmic Fortress Gold Guard. Like an alien kid. Okay. 
DRMS. I don't know what set that is. Got a Royal Swamp Eel. Look at him. Very royal. A third Goblin Zombie. Super rare intercept. Huh. That's another take your can take control of your monster card. Huh, interesting. That's crazy. And these are all in amazing condition too. Wow. Okay. And of course, it's not a pack opening channel. If we don't actually open some packs. Once, once again, just um, clearing some inventory. A lot more stuff coming in the mail. And you know what? This should hold me over for now. video I didn't wear the crown and it definitely showed so today we're going back to the crown shout out to heart of the pack can't wait for our next battle the secrets ghost collector all right let's start Can we get a Raging Phoenix? Can we get a Sunlight Wolf? Battling Boxing, Boxing Spirits. Will of the Salamangre. Salamangre Balinx. And Burst Griffin. Okay, so Ultra right out the gate. Okay. Thank you, Crown. Now let's see that Sunlight Wolf. And we got Battling Boxing Spirits. Number 79. Volcanic Commission. 105. Volcanic Queen. Volcanic Shell. Triblaze Accelerator. Salamon Great Charge. And Battling Boxer Promoter. All right, got another ultra out of here. Get it, battling boxers. And Comet Sistus. All right, we got two ultras. None of the good ones. We want Raging Phoenix or Sunlight Wolf. Rabbit Puncher. Elmer Hush. Volcanic Emission. Accelerator Reload and Scatter Shot. All right, we got Foxy. Chief what? Chief Second. Seventh Force. Scatter Shot. And headgear. All right, big bandage. Chief second. Fire ejection. Volcanic hammer. And 105. Badland boxer star Cestus. Salaman Great Mirage Stalio. Salaman Great Transcendence. We got Chief Second again. And Mitzestus. Finishing it up with Doomfire. 
last pack for Soul Burning Volcano. Can you show me something good? All right, we got a puncher. Blast jaw. Charge. And Salaman Great of Fire. At least we got another Ultra. And I think this one's a decent one at that. So, not mad, not mad. Alright, now can we get a collector rare out of Amazing Defenders? Alright, we got Infernoble Arms, Durandal, Great Makonko Ceremony, Gizmak Naganaki the Sunrise Signaler, Makonko Promise, and Heavenly Gate of the Makonko. Okay, so we got another Ultra out of this, you know? Not doing too bad. Okay. We'll definitely be wearing the crown more often. Extinguish and Limiter Removal. Alright, we got XYZ Import. Piri Riz map and Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. Let's get into that beautiful fire. Mm -mm -mm. We can go Promise Reborn, Hagar, and Extinguish. Alright, XYZ import. The Great Makonko Ceremony. And a 1 for 1. Ugh, shame it's not a collector rare. Alright, LOB. You got four chances. Show me something shiny. Uh, monster egg, Larvus, Armail, Silver Bow and Arrow, Dragon Capture Jar. Does that mean we have a blue eyes behind here? No, we get Tripwire Beast. Alright, Succubus Knight, Taihong, Turtle Tiger, Final Flame for your burn fans, and <gasps> yo, no fucking way, aha, Exodia is my boy, I have always loved collecting Exodia, this is one of my favorite collection pieces I ever started, had multiple multiple copies of the original first edition set and i lament that collection so much these days hey we got a right leg of exodia boys and girls hey hey buddy look 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 who came to say hi look it's one of your legs Ah, uh, well, that just made today worth everything. Care less about the value. I'm just super happy that we got an Exodia piece. That is definitely, hands down, one of my favorite things to collect out of all of Yu-Gi-Oh. King Fog, Remove Trap, Root Water, Wild Germs, Flame Ghost, and Forest. last pack mm -mm. can we can we get a blue eyes can we get a, a red eyes can we get a dark magician a monster reborn maybe or how about a regeki we got red medicine two males dark ruler 
Machine Conversion Factory, M Warrior One, Metal Dragon, and Spike Cedra. It really is the crown. Like, there's no way. There's no way to deny it at this point in time. We win the pack battle with Heart of the Pack. I didn't wear the crown on the last one. While it was very fun for a vintage opening, didn't really pull anything uh, of high rarity. And then I put the crown on today, and I pulled one of my favorite of all time collection pieces, Exodia. Ah, <sighs> you know, there really is power in the crown. Heart of the Pack. Let's keep it going, brother. I hope you have many more good openings, and I can't wait to see you on the next battle. And for the rest of you guys, if you liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, drop a like, tell me what cards you thought you uh, enjoyed the most in the comments, and I will see you guys on the next video. Later.